we're going to have a quick chat, quick chat on why fad diets will fail you and what to do instead. How are we doing? How are we doing? Okay. Can we hear me okay? Again, give me, give me a heart over on Instagram. Oh, hey, awesome. Okay, you guys can hear me. Beautiful. I'm like, someone comment, please. Thank you, thank you. Oh, all right, hopefully Facebook world is working. Um, I just don't have any comments up on there. And then... I will just, I'm recording this, so hopefully I'll eventually get these up to YouTube. Anyways, let's dive in. Um, let's start by, and you know, maybe pop below if you have just, just a yes, or give me like the little like hands emoji, whether you have tried a fad diet before, whether you've, you know, done low caloric, like whether you've done like the caloric deficit, uh, diets before, whether you've done like the keto or old school Atkins diet before, whether you've, um, you know, done maybe some like crazy cleanses to lose weight. Again, some cleanses are great for resetting. Um, but again, cleanses for just losing weight long-term we know do not work. Um, so let me know if, if you've ever tried one, cause like, I know I have, especially, um, and I remember when I was doing like my nutrition coaching, they said, uh, at the beginning there, because the coaching I took, honestly, it really, it introduced us to all of the different diets and like why they work and why they don't. So it was a really, um, interesting, uh, take because, you know, I got to understand like why, why you do lose weight on keto, but why you gain it back or like why, you know, technically you will lose weight on a caloric deficit, but again, why you gain it back. And, and this is the whole piece of why fad diets always end up feeling us is because once you go off them, we know that you end up gaining on like most of the time you end up gaining that weight back if you stray from that diet. So what I find really um, interesting is that long term, and, and we see this, we see this in um, like the healthiest parts of the world where people are like living really long or where they don't have the obesity rates like we do here in North America. And so often they are eating everything, they're eating they're eating carbs, my goodness, they're having wine, heaven forbid. But it so often comes down to the fact that they have a balance. So again, your different fad diets will work. But what I always ask people is that I really want you to learn how to eat and eat now the way you're going to eat for the rest of your life. Now, don't get me wrong, like I do some protein shakes and things like that sometimes just because they're quick and easy. Um, but I don't also make that like, it's not a staple. It's not a staple. It's not like you have to have that in order to maintain or lose weight. They're just an easy option for a good higher protein meal, like for breakfast. I think I put, I posted one on Instagram this morning and I was just like <laughs> the days that I'm like super busy or, you know, I just don't want to have eggs in the morning as a higher protein kind of, right? And we, I mean, protein is, we hear about high protein um, quite often in these diets. And, and that's just because protein is, one, it's essential. We need to have a decent amount of protein in order to just survive properly. But we also need, um, it also helps with like cutting those cravings, right? This is why diets like keto and Atkins and that are so popular because you end up having to have a lot of fat and a lot of protein and it does, it satisfies you and you're not so hungry. And I get it, cheese is delicious. <laughs> However, when you see like when people go off of those diets and particularly women, and again, you mean my people who I'm talking to are, mostly women. Um, that's, I mean, long-term low carb diets are horrible for our hormones long-term again, 
you can use keto and things like that, but as almost like a cleanse to like eliminate certain other things, to eliminate sugars, right? Like why you don't lose weight? It's not just because um, you are satisfied. It's also because like, you're also cutting out sugar on that diet. I mean, if you just cut out sugar and ate everything else in your life, you probably would still lose weight <laughs> because the amount of sugar we just generally are eating. Um, but again, the other piece with these fad diets is that they're just overly restrictive in some area, right? They're just really, really restrictive in some area. And like I said, even when we started, I don't mind cleanses. I don't mind cleanses um, as long. I mean, there's different style. I teach a very uh, gentle whole foods cleanse where we do eliminate certain things, but we're only eliminating it for about a week. Um, you know, this is aside from food allergies, right? Food allergies are an entirely different piece. There are some foods that you should avoid if you have an allergy that just goes without saying, I hope, but when foods are, when diets are too restrictive, it, it messes with our brain. Like it messes with our mind. We are we cannot ignore the fact of how our mind plays in to how we eat. And, and on the recent coaching call this week, we had a huge discussion around emotional eating. And, and that's definitely part of, of my program because we, we think sometimes it is just lack of willpower. We think it's just lack of discipline, but it's just lack of habits right? It's just about learning new habits. That's how we get into um, willpower or discipline. It's, it's not that you aren't able to. So, cause some people are like, I just can't stick to a diet. And it's like, it's because it's too restrictive. You're making it harder on yourself. You want faster results than is actually healthy for you. Losing weight fast tends not to keep the weight off long-term if weight loss is your goal. Okay. And generally, if you're trying a fad diet, it's for weight loss. Like, let's be clear. Now, I don't love to like preach the whole idea of weight loss. However, we do know that, you know, carrying too much fat on our body is just not healthy for us. Um, so your fad diets are way too restrictive. Like I said, for women, this actually messes like low carb diets too long can actually really mess with our hormones. So well, overall, we, I do agree on a daily basis, we're eating generally too many carbs <laughs> and we're eating not, you know, we're not eating complex carbs. We're really eating those simple empty carbs. Um, you know, I always joke about the beige foods, the bagels, the donuts, the breads, <laughs> the croissants, like all of those things, the beige foods, they all fall under that color. And so while I don't, I do think we should eat less carbs on a daily basis, but that's only because we need to be filling up with, like I said, more complex carbs, like have a sweet potato, have some sweet vegetables, like have a piece of fruit. That's where we want our carbohydrates to be coming from. And it's not that you have to give up all bread forever, but it should be very intentional in your diet. It should be less. It should be less. But what I often will teach people and what we've been working on in the program right now is like just adding in more more food, right? And we're like, okay, I'm in for more food, but like more of the right foods, more, um, more vegetables, right? If you look across all the fad diets, you know, keto, um, or like, even if you go to like Weight Watchers or any of those diets, like across the board, the one thing that is generally acceptable and on every single diet is vegetables especially the green leafy ones and generally berries. Berries tend to be a-okay on almost any diet. So those are the foods that we should have a lot of. We should have a lot of greens. We should have a lot of berries. They're, I mean, amazing for, you know, fiber and nutrients and vitamins and minerals and antioxidants. We want more of those things. So if there is one thing you walk away from, just add more, add more of those things. And instead of just looking at what we have to give up, because that makes us crazy, right? 
that makes us crazy thinking that I can't have something. It takes the joy out of life. Like I, you know, I like food. I really like food. I like eating. Um, but we have to be able to find a balance. The other piece, like I mentioned with, especially like the low carb diets, because I feel like those are still, I speak to those a lot because I feel like they're very um, prominent, right? Keto is still a very prominent diet, but over the long term, again, especially for women, it actually slows down our metabolism long term. You're better. And, and so if, if you still are like, nope, Jackie, I love keto. I'm sticking to it. If you are a woman, at least look and make sure you're doing this in a very healthy, proper way. Look at carb cycling and things like that. Because if you're not adding in any carbs long-term, if you're not giving your body a break and giving, and again, it doesn't matter what age you're at. Like you're like past menopause, don't worry about it. No, look at carb cycling. It one, it keeps our body guessing, which is really um, important. I actually talk about this in regards to exercise often. This is why you know, you need to maybe do some cardio one day and then you're going to do weights a different day and you're going to switch up the weights. You don't do this exact same weight workout every single day for the rest of your life. You know, it's still beneficial, but eventually it loses the momentum that it once had, right? Eventually you have to up the weights because they get easy because you get stronger. It's the same thing with our diet. It's, it's really important to start switching up the foods we're eating try new fruits, try new vegetables, try a different protein, um, you know, switch up your legumes. Like maybe you're going to have black beans. Maybe you're going to have lentils, like switch these things around. Keep your body guessing. It's actually going to burn more in a day this way. And, and this is why fad diets again, will fail us because they usually have a very tight narrow window. And even if they do have a bit of a wider window, we're not taking advantage of it. You end up eating the same foods, right? You end up eating that same, you know, steak and broccoli. You end up eating that same, you know, chicken and salad for lunch. If we don't switch it up, our body will adapt. Our body is amazing. Our body is so freaking fantastic and so damn smart that we need to trust it a bit more and treat it well, treat it well. Oh, hey, Claire, got the kiddo joining in. <laughs> um, so look at your fad diet and what really truly, like ask yourself if this is something that you would do for the rest of your life and, and look at the research long-term. It doesn't benefit you long-term. We need to give ourselves a bit of a break. And, and so much I feel like what I teach sometimes in the program is unlearning all of these things of caloric deficits being the way to lose weight, of low carb being the way to lose weight. These things are long-term very detrimental to the way we think about food. And as women, we have a lot of judgment on that. There's a lot of guilt around having a cheeseburger and fries right? Like I, I want people to get rid of that. We can still have very healthy, strong, happy bodies and still have takeout once in a while. It's not the be all end all. We want to fuel our bodies well, but if it's going to sacrifice your entire joy, <laughs> yeah, there's no joy in your food In the joy, like in your food every day, you have to eat at least probably a few times a day, maybe more. And you've taken all joy out of it. Then I'm like, that's, I don't know about you, but I'm like, that's not living. And then the stress, the stress and the guilt of that actually sometimes will make us like hold on to weight. I've seen this with women who are doing all the right things, but their lives are so stressful. And as soon as they begin to like meditate, do some yoga or find some sort of outlet for the stress, go to therapy sometimes, right? Then all of a sudden they'll start losing weight because we cannot negate the fact of what stress is doing on our body. And super restrictive diets are causing stress on your body, right? So what can we do instead? And then I'm gonna let you guys go. Cause I, again, I wanna try to keep these a little bit shorter and sweeter. So what do we do instead? Like I mentioned before, we are going to, um, we are going to add in more 
vegetables. It's one of the challenges I give the girls in the program um, for eating four servings of vegetables. And I don't count corn or white potatoes, all right? Those go into like the starch mode. Um, they act more like sugar in our body. So adding in four servings of vegetables, not fruit, but vegetables into your diet, okay? Do that. Make sure you're getting in your water. I know mine's sitting here and I'm like sad because it's like, <laughs> I need to fill this up and I'm thirsty because I've been talking for the last 15 minutes. So adding in more water, right? Adding in more movement, adding in more meditation, more, you know, more stress relieving activities. So instead of looking at these fad diets that are just continually restricting what and telling you, you can have less of this, less of this, less of this, instead, let's look at what we can just add more into more, like I said, more vegetables, more water, just more movement, more stress release. That, that's more achievable for people. And truly, this is the long term, right? I mentioned this in my story. It's like, I'm in this, I'm with you for the long haul in this kind of teaching. It is not all or nothing. <laughs> we need to let go of that mentality, right? We've all been there where we eat the fast food and we're like, well, doesn't matter if I had a crap, like, right? You go through like drive through for breakfast and you're like, ugh, I've already ruined my, my diet today because I ate, you know, an egg McMuffin and I had a hash brown, right. Or whatever, maybe just had like a bagel. Like you're like this, I know isn't a healthy breakfast. I've ruined my day. So it doesn't matter anymore. No, it's not all or nothing. We get to reset. We get to choose again, every single meal, every time. There are a lot of things, again, we cannot control. I talked about this on one of the other weeks. A lot of things in our life we can't control right now, but fueling our body well is something that if you have the privilege of, right? And if you're watching this, you probably are in that boat where you have some privilege around being able to buy good food and being able to cook meals and, and having the funds to do that. Um, so don't waste it because our health has never been more important than now. Um, and that less guilt, I just see so many women, we are beating ourselves up. And again, I get it. Cause I was there too. You know, it's like, Oh, I didn't exercise as much during 2020. I got into a funk. I didn't exercise as much. Uh, you know, the gym closed down and life was stressful for so many reasons. And you I mean, I got into a funk too, but at some point we have to take ownership and we have to choose for like, choose the better option for us. Okay. And it just, one bad, one bad meal, um, doesn't ruin it all. Okay. Any last questions? Otherwise I will hop off. Um, Oh, I also mentioned on my Insta stories and I'm not sure if Facebook saw this, but again, if you are sitting here and you're interested in the less is more body program, where we dive into all of these things way deeper. Again, we have a couple coaching calls every single day where you can, you know, ask me questions all about this stuff. Um, I just put in a six month payment plan option. I don't know how long I'm going to offer this. I'm definitely not going to offer it forever. However, uh, if, if the, pricing was just not something you could invest in right away. I just made this super affordable so that you can pay over the six months because I want to see you in this program. And again, lifetime access to coaching. We added in some tech support. So if you're someone who wants text alerts, wants me kind of in your ear all the time, you know, you can join the program right from the app on your phone. Um, so if that interests you, make sure to um, head over to my website and check out the program. So